Okay, I'm making this video uh, because of there are more killings of Christians uh, in Nigeria. And there's an article here, and then there's going to be a video we're going to watch here. And it says, uh, update, two gunmen kill at least 62 in Nigeria, including in the church. Uh, gunmen set off bombs, fire on congregation. Right on the congregation of people, can you imagine that? And uh, there's the story here below. They killed 22 people by setting off bombs, uh, firing into the congregation in the Catholic Church in a village there. And uh, there's the story here, and I'm going to leave a uh, uh, link to it. And uh, then I'm going to show you this video clip here. This is pretty intense, folks, so get ready for the... Well, it's, I mean, it doesn't show killing or anything, but, I mean, it, it was intense to me. City of Central African Republic. Residents are running for their lives. Almost a million people, or a quarter of the population, have been displaced since last March. That's when mainly Muslims... A quarter of a million people have been displaced since last March. Unbelievable, folks. Like a rebel seized power in a majority Christian former French colony. Now the country's Muslim minority faces a rising wave of reprisal attacks. Residents are calling on French soldiers to help protect them from the Salika. For some, looting is becoming a way of life. Heavily armed Salika soldiers are leaving their base camp in the capital. They have relocated near an area where Christian militias, called the Anti-Balaka, have taken up arms. See, the Christian militias have taken up arms. They're in Nigeria. They say they're ready for whatever comes. That won't keep us up at night. We are soldiers. We are ready. We even want this kind of behavior. If they're ready to attack us, we have nothing else to do. We are waiting. The country's new interim president is calling for more international troops to help quell the violence. She's already called for groups to put down their arms. So the president of Nigeria has called for international groups to help quell the violence there. Do you think that the United States would uh, take up arms to, to kill these people? Of course not, because Obama is the one that's making sure that they're the ones that get the arms. You know, this is crazy stuff. But anyhow, folks, I'm kind of upset about this, and the reason why is because, I mean, really, how many videos of this type of thing have I put up? You know, I can't, it's becoming countless, you know, and I have rethought something. I used to think that if we took up arms and did not defend ourselves against this type of thing, that we were doing the right thing. And I'm going to tell you something, folks, I don't believe that anymore. I've had a change of hearts. I know this. There's so many dead Christians, and considering the fact that Christianity is the number one persecuted religion on the face of this planet at this time, and our own president backs them, I think that if we don't take up arms for protection, that there won't be anybody left to be here. Okay, at the end for when the rapture does happen and the resurrection of the dead, who will be left? Almost nobody. This is crazy. So I got to be honest with you folks. I prayed today and I asked the Almighty God and Jesus to bless the people that are the militia Christians in Nigeria to help them to destroy their enemies to destroy them like they destroy us. Because these are my brothers and sisters. And how can I sit here and say not to take up arms? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, folks. But anyhow, I might be a little upset, and I'm sorry about that. Usually I'm more level-headed than this. But you know something? There comes a time when you got to face it like it is. And I know that in the Old, Old Testament... God blessed his people to take up arms against enemies. And I'm asking now for God to do the same. So that the people that do believe in Christ that are being persecuted, pray for them. That the militias that are Christian 
would be successful, that they would destroy their enemies because these people aren't worth two cents. They don't care about our religious freedom. They don't care about anything. All they care about is themselves and their hypocritical ways. So, okay then. Well, anyhow, again, I'm sorry I'm so upset, but I, who, under the Lord Jesus' good son, could not be upset over this after so long? It would be impossible. So, anyhow, okay, well, I love you all. Pray for each other and pray for your brothers and sisters that are being persecuted. And if they want to take up arms, pray that they are victorious in taking up those arms to defend those of us that are Christians against the enemy. Okay, leave your comments below. God bless you all and all that you do.